<laughs> All right, so so they, they paid me the money to troll you, right? You remember? Yeah, that? yeah, I remember that. And man, we were good. We were good buddy pals for a while, but then then they 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 told me that they wouldn't pay me anymore unless I hurt your feelings. And and then you said all that shit. I, I feel like you may have put a curse on me. Why? What happened? Because they they went after my dead daddy and. And now they're going after my dead mommy, and I just, I don't know how to feel about this, Chance. I just, I can't, I, I needed to come clean tonight on, on a bunch of things. That, uh, that UIS, say what? Well, wait, hold on, so, wait, were your, so, we want to say, were your parents still alive when we last talked, or were they still? They were, they were alive. When we talked, and, and now they're gone. Okay, right, so what? Hang on, back up. So, side thing here. What exactly happened to your parents? Like, what happened? What went down? Oh, they just got old and died, but like. Ah, you know, uh, for natural causes. But you said my life was going to go to shit. You said that. And what's crazy, dude, is that wasn't even necessarily a curse. That was just me, like, warning you, like, hey, you keep doing this shit, it's going to go bad real quick. Those UIS guys, there's yeah. there's a there's a gentleman involved with them named Roddy Beltran, and he's like, he let's move. You are now traveling to another dimension. E C J Holiday. I, I told these trolls to lick my butt crack, and then they do a good job licking my butt crack. Bing bong! <laughs> Bing bong! I don't want to go to jail! I don't want to go to jail! Oh, and in case I don't see you, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. When the spawn is This is a certified hood classic. Ayo, 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 it's your boy CJ, and we back at it like a crack addict with a bad habit. And I'm not feeling too good right now, to be honest. I wasn't going to make a video, but you know what? It might be better for y'all. I won't be reacting as much. You sit on a throne of lies. Who knows? Hopefully I'll get better. And if I don't, I might not just upload this. <laughs> I'm at that verge where I'm feeling almost better, but not at the same time. <laughs> But enough of me. Who cares about what I'm saying? Let's get in with a Cyrax video. This is going to be mostly Cyrax. And then I'm going to talk a little bit about codes at the end. I'm going to pretty much do the video I did last time. But the opposite. And um, okay. This whole image is wild. This is somebody's Facebook. Um, maybe Cyrax's Facebook. I have no idea. All I know is uh, Cyrax has joined Spooky's panel. Joined by Chance's friend. Matthew B. Burgess or whatever. So that that title kind of confuses me, not gonna lie, but we'll figure it out, I guess. Special Officer Dookie reporting. And we gotta always give a shout out to Enric Boy. He is the best archive channel, or one of the best archive channels, that's for sure. So big shout outs to him. And if you wanna watch Cyrax without my annoying ass, go to his channel but yeah I actually I don't know what I'm getting myself into I've seen a little bit of this a while ago and then I kind of just forgot about it because so much other shit happened in the process so yeah I'm gonna have to get reminded I guess I'm gonna have to have a little reminder while watching and before we get into it sorry 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 spooky who? Oh! From what I've been told, I've been told a couple different things now. But what I believe he is, from what I've been told from others, he is a troll, but an undercover troll. That's why lots of people will say he isn't a friend. He's just trying to play him. But, but, lots of other people did tell me he was his real friend, and they are friends. So, I don't know if those people are trying to cover for him, or if they honestly don't know. And they could be right, so 
take take what I say with a grain of salt. Spooky is kind of new. Like I know a couple spookies, like Spooky Tuning, and there's another spooky guy. So I don't know who this guy is. I might know him, but whatever, whatever. I'm rambling. We'll figure it out, okay? So let me shut up and let's get right into this. Let's go. Let me bring you up to speed. Like man, uh, that's why I didn't hear the call too well. Am I coming in good to you though? Oh yeah, I'm playing today. Right, you got, you got. I got these. I got these audio problems where I got the shitty thing. Hey Matt, what's good, brother? Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, it's an audio problem. Cyrax and the other guy's volume's really high up, and the other guy's low. Oh man, it's 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 been it's been a time for me, Cyrax. Both my parents have died. Oh man, you were right about everything. I shouldn't have trusted those Betty White acolytes. Who? Or whatever the f they were called. Wait, what what happened exactly? Like, so, like, explain from the very beginning. Like, what exactly went down? All right, so Cyrax being a little detective over here, trying to get down to the brass tacks, getting his magnifying glass and tippy toeing around the house. Okay, what's the incident, sir? Like Cyrax, if you can't figure out your own problems, how are you gonna help anybody else? But maybe he thinks it's about him, so maybe I shouldn't jump to conclusions. Let's go. So they they paid me the money to troll you, right? You remember? Yeah. That? Yeah, I remember that. And man, we were good. We were good buddy pals for a while, but then, then they 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 told me that they wouldn't pay me anymore unless I hurt your feelings. Sorry, this guy's volume is super low. I might try to up it while editing. That's gonna take forever, and I'm not feeling. Hopefully, I get better. Man, I got. I think it was last night. I just started being so sick. Like, yo, know, it's awful. Just off. Shut up. And and then you said all that shit. All that stuff, we gotta go back. Sorry, my stupid rambling ass. Me saying, oh, I won't talk as much. <laughs> More unless I hurt your feelings. And and then you said all that shit. I, I feel like you may have put a curse on me. What? <laughs> Why? What happened? Because they, they went after my dead daddy, and, and now they're going after my dead mommy, and I just, I don't... Oh, this is such a troll. <laughs> How can they get at him when they're dead, bud? <laughs> oh. How to feel about this, Chance. I just, I can't... I, I needed to come clean tonight on, on a bunch of things. That, uh, that UIS... Say what? Well, wait, hold on. So, wait. Were your, yeah. so, we want to say, were your parents still alive when we last talked, or were they still... They were, they were alive <laughs> when we talked, and, and now they're gone, oh, man. So, right, yeah. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Back up. So, sad thing here. What exactly happened to your parents? Like, what happened? What went down? He is trying to find any motive or any any kind of dirt to put on these trolls and say in so he can say in his little speeches you know what these trolls have done they have killed people they have made people commit slewer side it's like bruh he, it's uh, so funny like if he had a notepad in a pen he'd be writing this stuff down look at he's looking down right now maybe playing with his fingers or his beard maybe and he's like contemplating life or contemplating how he's gonna spin this narrative <laughs> oh they just got old and died but like uh... <laughs> They just got old and died. So I was like, oh, shucks. Uh, oh, they just got old and died, but like. Oh, you know, uh, natural causes. But you said my life was going to go to shit. You said that. And what's crazy, dude, is that wasn't even necessarily a curse. That was just me, like, warning you, like, hey, you keep doing this shit, it's going to go bad real quick. You serious? 
Oh my goodness. You gotta be kidding me. Cyrax, I think he doesn't know what side this guy is on right now. So he's not trying to jump the gun. But you can tell he feels vindicated. I guarantee it. He's gonna break a smile. Unless he thinks this guy's a troll. Because you gotta think about it. At, like in when you're in Cyrax's shoes, every time he trusts somebody, he ends up finding out <laughs> they're a troll. So yeah, he is super dumb. And he has no common sense. But eventually, eventually he's gonna catch on and be just wary of everybody. Those UIS guys? There's yeah. a, there's a oh, shoutouts to the UI, yes. This is the picture down below. Literally, type up the UIS. He has an awesome channel. I need to go on his live stream. Involved with them named Roddy Beltran, and he's like, he's okay, even sicker than the So if y'all forgot, he's talking about the UIS and these other characters. And again, shoutouts to the UIS. And he's like, he's even sicker than the shit that they say you do. Got it! What? He draws like Donkey Kong porn, and like, <laughs> uh, like Billy and Nick. Yeah, I heard it, I heard it. Oh my goodness, this seems all bull. I don't think the UIS would be caught dead with somebody like that. This is all just a troll. <laughs> we know that, you fool. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's what he said, right? The UIS and him are in coots or something? I'm sorry. <laughs> UIS guys? There's, yeah. there's, a, there's a gentleman involved with them. Named Roddy Belton, yes, it's and that. he's like, okay. he's even sicker than the shit that they say you do. He draws like- And that's so funny. He's pretty much saying, yeah, you are a nasty ass skin plucker. What? Another one. Yeah, you are one sick, predatorial troglodyte. But- But- There's somebody worse. He's pretty much saying, yeah, you're worse, but there's somebody even worse. That is just so funny to me. That is a low-key dig, and I love it. This is a troll, and you can't tell me otherwise. Well, I guess you can, but I'm I'm sure it's a troll. Like, uh, like Billy and... Yeah, I heard, I heard a little bit about that guy. I don't know too much about him, but I have caught wind, like, very slightly here and there about what he's talking about. He gives base shaman, like... Hundreds and hundreds of dollars. Like, yeah. He but honestly, coming from Bay Shaman and with all that shit, that doesn't necessarily surprise me. And it's like, Bay Shaman's gonna make fun of you for like shoving a stick up your ass or whatever that was. Lighter, I, I don't remember. Oh my god. <laughs> Talking about shoving a stylus up his pooper. One of those stylus for like the iPads or a tablet, I believe, or maybe a Roku. I forget what it was for, but no. Oh, oh, I I'm not gonna show you the video. I don't have it, thank God. But he ends up sticking it up his keister, starts digging around there, pulls it out, and then starts sucking on it like it's a <laughs> like a coxicle. Oh my. Uh. Why are you gay? What a sight to behold. <laughs> I was going to say it was the worst video I've ever seen, but I think Two Girls One Cup might have topped that. <laughs> but oh, oh, it's Cyrax, so it's up there. <laughs> yeah, and he's going to make fun of you for that. I mean, that's some kinky shit, but like this dude is like literally got porn that he's drawing, and his name's Roddy Beltran, and it's fucking sick. And, and that dude, and see, that's what gets me, man. You got people out here like Tony that actually go out of their way and actually do shit. Wait, oh my, Tony is this guy right here. And from what I've been told, all he's done, which is something terrible, and like, you maybe should be put on a list, maybe. He took a picture of a minor in the mall. Hey, yo! Not in like a sexual position, from what I was told. It was, she was just across the mall, and he took a picture of her. But he has also admitted 
I think he pretty much kind of said that he's not doing that stuff anymore. He's repenting. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. And all this. So he kind of admitted to being into that. I don't know. But we got to remember this guy is in a wheelchair. So if, uh, he, if he tries to take anybody, they can run away or roll him away. <laughs> you know? <clears throat> Oh, jeez, uh, he's so slow. These little girls could be moonwalking away and not be good at moonwalking and still be faster than Tony. <laughs> Sheesh. But, Cyrax, if we are going to worry about somebody, it's not going to be Tony. It, it's going to be more likely you. You're able to walk. You have a bit more strength than Tony. You're much more of a deviant than him. You're so devious. Like, a sexual deviant. <coughs> and you're literally one step away from going on chatterbait. <coughs> like King Cobra does. You probably do. Let's be for real. <coughs> and like, I've always wondered that. Cyrax obviously gets donations from like, his other Predo buddies and people that feel bad for him where does that money go to hmm. really makes you think i don't think he does drugs unless his grandma laces it <laughs> cosby here so I, I i don't know where that money's going to guys tell me down below what do you think he does with his donations but dude you can't even ask matt dude what i fell for was a control but what's weird to me is they're real quick to go after me but yet oh my that is just putting it so in such a blanket statement i fell for a troll yes it might have been a troll in a way but the whole point is you thought she was 14. let me bring you up to speed you hope that we can when was the last time that you sent your dick to a child i'm just curious like how, how long has it been literally whenever you tricked me literally but no, because you just went through two other instances after that. That was that was actually that was those were actually beforehand. Those were beforehand incidences. Well, the the Chloe thing, I sent those to her beforehand, like days before, and then today she okay, had. Okay, so that was so like people, days so before. Right. Okay. So the timeline is that you sent your. The point so, being, the point no, no, is. No, no, I, I we need to finish that thought. I just want to get the time period right so I can feel. I, I just want to feel like you are on the road to rehabilitation here. So what you're saying yeah. is, when I posed as a 14 year old girl, that was the last time that you sent your dick to a child. But there were two times before that. Yeah, but okay. as I said, right. as I said, you know, I am, and I was wrong in doing that because, like I said, you know, nowadays, like you know. Like something that a lot of people don't understand is that when you when you pose as a fourteen year old, genuinely already you're honest. You're being dishonest with yourself. Ultimately, like you thought that at the time. Like look look at these messages. You got caught red handed, and yes, that girl was not that age. They were trolling you there. But the thing is. You weren't trolling her knowing that she was that age. You actually really thought she was 14. What the hell is wrong with you, boy? It's not you were like, oh, I knew this whole time and I was tricking her. Not like that classic excuse that you would see on Chris Hansen. What are you doing? But yeah, and you, you were, you, <gasps> you've even apologized for it and said you were wrong for doing it. And not so quick to go after Tony, but Tony's actually done zero life and pedo shit. One thing, one. And that's where I'm confused at. It's like I fell for a fucking troll, and I've not done anything like that. I would never try to do anything like that. Hey, do you actually believe the crap that comes out of your mouth? But yeah, you got Tony out here doing the same shit as that other dude, but yet they don't go after him. One time, with the and if it wasn't just one one time, I'd love to hear your excuses. If you're going to make this statement, you have to say exactly what he did. I heard you called yourself the storm recently. <laughs> Long story short, 
Me and a couple friends are working on some shit to try to shut these guys down. Yeah, I called this one pedophile lady. She's she's kind of hot, bud. She's kind of hot for a, for a freak, but uh. What'd you talk about, Mister? <laughs> she's a furry, and she likes to uh she likes to use children for bait for like actual pedophiles. Get it? I always catch you watching this sick shit. And um, he, really? Yeah, she uh, her name is Kuro Softball. Really? Give me her number. I like to know her name. Says Cyrax. I want to know her name. What's your name? She sounds hot. Eh, one hundred percent. Me and her might have something in common, allegedly. And uh, she made me so mad, man. I had to unleash the storm on her. I called myself the storm the same night you called yourself the storm. <laughs> like it lined up. Oh, yeah, that's, that's crazy. That was the same night, bro. We, we called we called ourselves the storm. Did you get did you actually feel like a possession? Like a storm coming in you? Like it. See? Now this guy is trying to bait funny answers from Cyrax. Do you hear what he's saying right now? Yo guys, we like interconnected and we said storm like almost at the same time. So bro, we're like connected. Approaching and convoking black cloud. It, it wasn't so much of a storm as it was like me just feeling like yo. I finally got a fucking hold on this one. No, he said, did you feel possessed? Not like there's a storm. <laughs> like, I'll be honest, dude, the shit these are <laughs> Like, even you gotta admit, even from a troll perspective, dude, even you gotta admit, dude, the shit they've done has gone way too fucking far. Yeah, man, you got arrested, you're like screaming for Sally and all this shit, and like... Well, not only that, dude, but man, I can tell you here recently, uh, what a Oh, I love how he brings up, like, all these embarrassing moments for Cyrax when he's screaming for Sally. <laughs> play that, play that. <laughs> right, can I make a deal with you, please, sir? You can't make deals, Chance. Yeah. You got to Chance? Mom, please! Chance? I don't want to go to jail! I don't want to- Oh, classic moment in the Rax verse. Classic. In that day, Cyrax floundered and freaked out like your local crackhead behind the Big B convenience store. And then nobody will admit to this or will take uh, blame for it, and I can understand why because they don't want to end up getting arrested. So, one of the trolls fairly recently, like, when was it not? Like, last week that all that shit happened? I think so. Like, something about keying her car or something? No, somebody ended up taking a brick and destroying our windshield. <laughs> we you guys, do not go harass, bully anybody, even though I'm laughing kind of there. I do not think you should go do that for my sake or YouTube's sake. Just putting that out there. We had to pay over a thousand dollars just to get a replaced because we don't have, uh, we didn't have insurance on the windshield, so we had to replace it out of pocket. Now, why would you go and say that? That just blows my mind. Why? People, uh, uh, people are just gonna do that now. They, oh my goodness, you're just you're setting yourself up. They, they, like, I legit got photos, sent it to a few people, and they're just like, what the fuck? Like, they well, to be honest, with them and that family, I guarantee there's still a wood panel in the back window. It's not fixed. <laughs> not for the next seven years. Like, dude, they literally have Facebook groups made about me. All kinds of shit, dude. Like, you're not describing it and the way you're saying it it sounds normal anybody that has some sort of fame or infamy has pages about them it's insane at the level that they're going to even marty's moved on even that's what dude marty's done moved on yeah nick Marty's done. if you wanted his court records we got him man 
Spooky's there. Okay, let's go. Let's play it this way, dude. Marty's now moving on to um, Crystal and Leslie. That is true. Crystal and Leslie are these hillbilly couple. I don't know them by any means. They don't interest me either. And uh, that's good. That is good for Marty. And also, Cyrax can't be like, Oh, it's only me. You only use me. I only get you the views. No. People can get views from other people. Yes, they might get a little bit more from you. But it's just because of how <laughs> ugly you are. On the inside and the outside. It is a, a, such a sight to behold because it's like it's so weird because in s lots of situations usually when somebody is dealt a shitty hand like you they are the nicest people in the world they have to be so they can get jobs so they can go up in life <laughs> but you, <laughs> you don't care about that <clears throat> Yeah, those are like some trailer park people, aren't they? Yeah. But dude, he's moved on there. Um, the ones that are scrolling with me now are uh, the UIS, William Grill, obviously, uh, CDG, Edward Boy, and, uh, you know. Is it gonna be me? No. I don't think he's only mentioned my name once which makes sense because I really don't do anything I was so surprised when he mentioned my name the one or two times yeah that, that UIS man that's some low tier shit like they're under base shaman like they're they're a subgroup of base shaman and it's like yeah. sad that they I disagree but remember this guy is a troll do you know his dick do you know anything about, like, uh, William or Edward Boy? Because I know those guys have been, like, riding my shit real hard. Edward Boy, let's put this... Hey, yo, riding what? Sheesh. If he wants me gone, no matter what. Like, there was... For good reason. Yeah, post a post a you could tell he was bitching and whining and screaming and just, like... Oh, I want him gone, blah, 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 and it's like, the f***. Wh what You're surprised? <laughs> oh, my goodness. You gotta be kidding me, right? Damn. He acts like... Dude, dude, that, dude I'm telling you, man, these guys are acting like little fucking kids. Yeah, glory hole. You're acting like you like little fucking kids. Got him! <laughs> <laughs> oh. I'd rather act like them than like them. Sheesh. He's probably he's probably Allegedly. a fed. Honestly, dude, he either works for the feds or knows somebody within the law system. He knows he knows system. so much. You know, like he knew like as soon as my dad died, and he made, he made, he got uh, that. I like that video he made of me. Whoa, what? Um, but, uh, <laughs> fucking, like, he knew. It's like he's psychic. You know, the, the storm possesses me when I get angry. That's a... Okay, I, I don't know if I'm reading too much into this, but do you see how he says, Oh, I like the video he made for me, said the guy. I don't know who this is, Spooky, said that. And Cyrax couldn't help but laugh. <laughs> and we've talked on my channel where Cyrax and Marty have a weird relationship. Where Marty has probably done the worst to him than anybody else. Or he's at the top. And Cyrax always came back to him. Always tried being friends with him. And uh, really weird dynamic. You know when you seen the, whenever you've seen the disastrous duo on the stream it was gonna be content galore it was either going to be all night swearing at each other him leaving coming back leaving coming back or sometimes it would it would be like a slow build up and then marty would be like you know what cyrax you know i did this and did that so i'd be like no you didn't you're kidding and then he'd break it to him and then he'd start freaking out but he he always tries to have his back, and uh, it's just like I said, it's weird. You'd think he'd hate him the most, and I forget I was gonna add on to something. I forget what I was. I screwed myself up. What I rambled too much, and I forget where I was going with that. <laughs> what?
That's a recent development in my life as I get possessed. Oh, okay. And you don't you remember? Cyrax just laughed about it like, oh, I know what you're talking Because Spooky ended up saying, oh, I kind of like the video he made on me. And then Cyrax is like, oh, <laughs> like if he knew what, exactly what he was talking about. Like I said, I'm reading too much into that, maybe. The relationship's still weird. The friendship really, whatever, you know. An entity called the Storm. It's a blue, it's a guy in a blue jacket, and he's got white hair, and it's kind of like some Devil May Cry shit. It's pretty cool. Well, well dude, not gonna lie, man. The shit that they put in my family through, dude, that's why me and my family have been trying to figure out, like, how we can deal with these guys. Like, I'm obviously got a couple of people that are helping me out on the legal side of things, where it's like, before they came along, it's like... You remember when I gave you all that legal advice? I'm really guessing the people that he has to back him up are just trolls pretending to be somebody who they aren't. I almost guarantee it. He's like, okay, the guy, I'm not gonna rewind. He's like, do you remember the legal advice I gave to you? And the guy's like, oh, I don't remember. Cyrax like, I don't remember. Yo, dude, I'm not gonna lie, dude, that was that was like what our castle yeah. domain and all that yeah that was when we first yeah dude that was like dude that shit was like yeah God, i don't even know how long ago dude. Well, he's got like his surfer accent on again like gnarly dude oh i know it was before me and jasmine got together yeah jasmine didn't like me at all she was a troll though wasn't she no she actually turned she turned out uh um, she, she was a troll. She just conned you that she wasn't, you idiot. She was real, but instead of liking me and wanting me for who I am as a person, <laughs> why are you gay? She wanted me for, you know, internet lines type shit. Like, what a good way to get out of that relationship. Of who I was on the internet, not me as a person. Like, she really wanted to date me just so she can say, like, oh, I dated this dude. <laughs> no, that seems... She didn't want to date you. She wanted to troll you. And she'd want to do it any way possible, even if she had to date you. That's what she was trying to do. Like, she literally, the one night when we were talking, because we had split up, got back together, split up, got back together a few times. And this last time that we ended up back together, she flat out sent me a text message that she would always be a fan first. And, like, that to me is like, so you're basically telling me that when it comes down to me and you being together, you see me as this person, but not who I actually am outside of that. Oh, yeah. What the fuck's wrong with you? Oh, yeah, buddy. So I ended, up, I ended up sending her a voice message and cutting her off right then and there because I was like, I knew I deserved better. You sure about that? Yeah, but that's and what I was telling you. She was overweight and she was she just didn't look too attractive to me. What about that uh, skibbity toilet lady? What? The, the other one. <laughs> Skibbity Toilet. <laughs> uh, the one in Australia or something? Uh, uh, oh my goodness, you don't know what Skibbity Toilet is. Oh, it's the new hit that the kids are going crazy for. <laughs> Remember back in the day with like Crazy Frog? Ding, 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 ding. It's kind of like the new Crazy Frog. <laughs> Oh, the other Jazz. Yeah, she was kind of cute. Was she for real, or was she just like a troll? She was real, but she also turned out to be a fucking troll. Oh my goodness! Of course they were real. What he means is, are they a troll or not? Like me and her have a really weird, complicated history. Like, no, that's you and Marty. Not this other person, it's you and Marty that have a weird, complicated relationship. Jeez. <laughs> Is this guy trying to just cop over Brax? Yo, man, you good, bro? Yeah, man, you sound sick, bro. You got something? been coughing. It's been coughing a lot. But, like, we were, like, well, you can ask Matt, dude. Mine... Mine, the original Jasmine's relationship was really fucking weird, dude. Like, 
we would be friends, hating each other for a month or so, going back to talking, dating each other, not dating each other, her splitting up with me, getting back with me, and this and that, and da da da. And after this last time, dude, she basically was like, oh, you're a nature of having blah blah blah. blah. And I was like, you know what? I know this is boring me. This is boring. Alright. Alright, but yeah, let's get right into the Cobra video. Let's go. Okay, I guess Cobra has got a new love interest. And I'm kind of interested in who this person is. So, yeah, let's get right into this video. Excuse me. So there's this chick who does a YouTube channel called Naked and Laughing. And uh, I FaceTimed her, she's a real woman, and she wants to spend time with me and hang out in, here in Casper. I'm totally down for it, man. Hey! Oh, come on. You don't have to do that, Boggum Chronicles. She actually is a lot better looking than that. That's just a shitty photo. If we would compare Cobes and her, Cobes would be like a... I don't want to judge Cobes, but Co she's like a a solid six, if not a little bit more. And Cobes would be lucky to have her if she is normal and is not nuts and and is not malicious in any type of way, trying to get money or clout. Then she's a keeper. Cobes might have Cobes might be able to lock down a woman, and I'm hoping for him. I really am. I'll show you her in a second. No, you know what? Let me just show her right now, quickly. Come on. She is good looking. She might be even a 6.57. Get some makeup and she, man, she'd be a, if she knew how to apply makeup or if she applied makeup, eight. She could be an eight if she wanted to be. Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. So, I'm going to review this new Red Bull Strawberry Apricot. Look at this. Um, it's kind of late right now, or kind of early, whatever. Whatever your take on it is, it's 6.05 in the morning. I should be asleep, but I'm not. She seems perfect for Cobes. Come on. She's doing a review on Red Bull, and she stretched it out to 12 minutes. Oh, come on. We gotta give her a rest. This is perfect. This is perfect. This is golden. This is golden, pony boy. Okay, now let's get back into this. I'm just worried that the trolls will try to scare her off before she has the chance to meet me because my trolls are miserable. I can tell you why my trolls have a hard time getting laid. Cobes. If you were afraid that trolls were gonna get to her, why? 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 Why would you even mention her in the first place? I heard. Well, I do know why he mentions it in the first place, but I just wanted to say that for that bit. <laughs> but the reason why he says it, I think, is because it's kind of a flex. It's kind of like, yeah, I'm talking to a woman right now, and. I want to shove this in your face so much to the point that it could risk my interaction and relationship with her. But I still want to shove it in your face to shove it in your face. Cobes, that could ruin your opportunity. You gotta chill out a bit. As they spend all their time and energy focused on Cobra, and it's not healthy. Only reason I say this is because I've had several attractive women. Go, Cobra, I want to save up money and come see you. End your dry spell and all this awesome stuff. And it's funny because I would, any other lol cow, I'd be like, this is delusional. But the thing is, I bet you girls are actually saying this to him. He has a good fan base nowadays. Five years ago, it was all just trolls hating on him. But he has found a niche on TikTok and YouTube, and he's starting to get a lot more love. So I guarantee there are tons of girls that feel somewhat bad for him that would say that just to make him feel better. And some of them maybe do mean it. But the delusional part is where he thinks that they 
all mean it. And that they don't just feel bad for him. Because I'm pretty sure that's all that's what's happening. Alright. Well, let's do it then. And then they kind of just stop talking about me after the trailer scare off. Yeah, that's another delusional part. He thinks, oh, she stopped talking to me. The trolls must have figured out. Oh, Cobes, Cobes, Cobes. I had a fan girl show up to my apartment a couple of months back, and she was traveling through the states by herself. It caught me pleasantly surprised. I don't even care if she fucked me. It was just the thought of... A fan literally is driving through Casper, Wyoming. And they want to stop to hang out with Cobra for a bit because they like my videos. I like. See, that is the difference between Cyrax and King Cobra JFS. King Cobra JFS actually has a fan base. And it is growing and growing by the months, the years. They honestly was. I couldn't believe it. I remember at one point me seeing him have like 17 thousand subscribers or something at one point not too long ago a couple years ago i think it's when he started uploading to tiktok i think maybe that's what started getting him to grow oh and his gross food penguin z0 moist critical you know that one meme where the guy's dancing I'll show it to you, okay? Charlie, go Charlie, go Charlie. Ooh, ooh, yo, get your step on. Yeah, yeah that guy busting a move. He ended up reacting to King Cobra. And Charlie is just a, a, a view magnet. He collects views like he collects his Pokemon cards or his Yu-Gi-Oh cards. He just, it's unbelievable. And he, he's just talking. That's all he does. But he's a really good talker. Plus, he's super funny. And he's your regular Joe. Where you could relate to him. And who else? There's a few other tons of people, actually, that are fairly famous. YouTube famous. Have reacted to Cobes. So I'm sure that's what boosted, it, boosted him up in views. But, yeah, Cyrax will never have what Cobes has and that all has to do with one thing Cyrax's allegations bunny ears quotations I don't think they're all just allegations and rumors I really do believe more than 50% of them are real and the only way that he will stop and his predatorial behavior and just straight up nonsense is, I, actually, I don't think I've told you this, but I think you should get off the internet.